None of the creations of humanity inspire us with such a strange mixture of admiration and fear than that as robots. We diligently create them in our image, but we are terrified that they will rebel against us. By whom, when, and how humanoid robots were created and what has been achieved in this field, we will tell in this issue. Put a like, subscribe to the channel, and let's go! The first humanoid robot was created over 500 years ago. In 1495, Leonardo da Vinci created a mechanical knight capable of imitating human movements, such as sitting and standing, moving their hands, neck, and lifting the visor of the helmet, just to prove that there was no one inside. The following functional robots were created in 1774 by the Swiss watchmaker Pierre Jacquet Draws. Three automated dolls, a musician, writer, and artist, still work in the Museum of Art and History in Neuchatel. The genoid robot plays the organ by flipping the keys with his fingers and imitating breathing. One robot child draws four images and the other writes text up to 40 characters long. In the 1800s, Japanese master Hisashigi Tanaka, who laid the foundations of the future Toshiba Corporation, created many extremely complex mechanical toys. Even if they were not full-fledged robots, they were much more complicated than the first British robot, Eric, presented as a sensation in 1928 in London's Royal Horticultural Hall. The so-called robot got up and sat down, gave a speech. However, Eric was controlled by two operators and his voice was, re and his voice was received live by radio signal. In 1939, the Electro Robot was presented at the World Exhibition in New York. He could walk on voice command, speak about 700 words, and move his head, hands, and smoke. But that was not all. In 1970, the first digitally controlled anthropomorphic robot, Wabat One, was created at Waseda University in Tokyo. The second version of the robot, introduced in 1980, was able to play the piano. Wabat Two was able to take a person, read notes, and play melodies of medium complexity. Wabot was the first in fact predecessor of Asimo, presented in 2000, and for a long time remained the most perfect humanoid robot in the world. Developed by Honda, the robot was able to recognize objects, gestures, sounds, and faces to talk and interact with people as well. Capable of autonomous navigation, Asimo was created to become a multifunctional mobile assistant. The last version of Asimo was introduced in 2014, but as of today, the project is now closed. With the advent of the 21st century began a real boom in robotics, including the creation of humanoid robots. In 2002, Sony introduced the Sony Dream Robot, which was able to walk on the stairs, bypass obstacles, and get up when falling. In 2003, engineers from the Technical University of Munich assembled the robot Johnny. The key skill of Johnny was to have a fast, dynamic, with a stable, human-like gait. A year later, the University of Osaka presented the robot Actroid with realistic silicone skin. The robot is able to recognize and process speech, answer questions, and respond to touch. For the study of human and robot communications, in 2005, the company Engineered Arts created Robothespian. The robot is able to use expressions and gestures to communicate all emotions. The developers positioned this robot as an actor, promoter, and entertainer, or potentially a teacher. In 2006, Edelbaron Robotics in France introduced an autonomous, programmable, human-like robot, NAO, with open-source code, which became a research platform for schools and institutes. In 2009, Boston Dynamics presented its own robot, Petman, which became the precursor of the Atlas robot. But this is a completely separate story, we will tell you about all the developments of Boston Dynamics in detail in the issue by clicking on the link from the video card. At the same time, the Italian Institute of Technology introduced the iCub open source robot to explore the possibilities of artificial intelligence as well as any other experiments with robots in general. In 2014, the robot Aiko Chihira from Toshiba got a job. It was created to work at the information stand in the Tokyo Shopping Center where it helps customers to navigate in the store. The robot has no special abilities, but can talk in Japanese and sign language as well as imitate human movements. That same year, the South Korean robot DRC Huba won DARPA's Robotics Challenge. 
It did best with driving, opening doors, climbing stairs, and even drilling holes. And all this for a tasty price of $2 million. But the biggest breakthrough in 2015 was the robot Sophia, brought by company Hanson Robotics. Sophia has become almost legendary. She was attributed to a developed intellect. She still travels around the world and runs her own social networks. We've previously covered Sophia, and if you want to know all about her, check the link in the video card above. The breakthrough of 2016 was the first robot with tactile feedback. The underwater bot Ocean One transmit the sensation of objects back to the operator so it can lift fragile vases from shipwrecks from the ocean floor. The robot is equipped with bimanual arms, stereoscopic vision, and eight control motors with sensors. In 2017, it was demonstrated by the first useful humanoid robot Talos from PAL Robotics, capable of not only exploring the surface, like many other devices, but also to perform precise and complex tasks. Then there was the amazing robot builder, Mega Advanced Robots, Telepresence, and other incredible humanoid and inhumanoid robots, the best of which you can all see in our releases. Don't forget to sign up and share this video.